Holy fuck, Netflix original films are really starting to piss me off, like god damn. What is up guys, welcome to Boomer Base. Today we're back again for another Netflix original movie, and today we're here to review Brad Payton's 2024 Netflix movie, Atlas, starring Jennifer Lopez. Holy fuck, this is gonna be a ranting video for sure. I don't think I've been as annoyed with a movie before as I have been with this. But without further ado, let's get cracking. So welcome back to Boomer Base. You know, Atlas, it's the new film. It's the Netflix number one movie at the moment. It has the biggest budget for a female lead movie that there is. Oh, Christ. What really irritates me is not only did this film, did I hate it 90% of the time, the 10% where I actually enjoyed it and thought, hey, this isn't terrible. I wanted much more from this movie. It aggravated me so much. What this movie does is it shows you that we could have a Titanfall TV series and it could look okay. What I hate is that even at two hours, I could have had a longer film and things. What I hate is that despite a lot of the shoddy CGI, the arc vehicles did look pretty cool. Some of the action sequences were really cool. To wrap things up, I think this film should have been a like six part TV series because I think it has so much potential. It was just done poorly. Now, straight off the bat, you know, this film had the highest sort of budget for a female lead led film for Netflix. Um, with a hundred million dollar budget. For one, that's great. That's great that a female lead film on Netflix had the highest budget. That's honestly great. This film compared to Damsel, there was 40 million dollars extra. I don't know where that went, but who knows. I mean, like, Damsel still had some really good stuff, really good costumes, you name it. Had a really cool, like, dragon slash dragons and things, you know, had some very cool things. But $40 million extra for this, I don't know where that went. You know, I do not think Jennifer Lopez was the correct lead for this. She's not inherently bad. Her character was very unlikable. But I think, you know, a big part of the budget obviously went to Jennifer Lopez Simu Lee and you know probably people like Mark Strong and Sterling K Brown as well were all of them needed for this film probably not I get that you need some form of big actor slash slash actress and things but Jennifer Lopez I really don't think that was the right call you know Simu Lee I mean he was fine you know great in Shang-Chi great in Barbie you know I haven't seen him in anything else other than that but this, his character didn't really get to shine too much. You only saw him a very small amount in the film. Again, Mark Strong, only a small amount of the film was he in this. So I don't think any budget really needed to be spent on someone like Mark Strong or Simu Lee. I think he maybe could have had a better lead actress and probably a less known sort of villain with Simu Lee and then probably still had a better film. But going forward, I'm going to be talking about spoilers. So if you don't want to know any spoilers about this film, then tune out now and go see it and then come back either or absolutely fine but from now going to talk about spoilers from the film so from the get-go jennifer lopez's character atlas is just extremely unlikable any form of slight anxiety bit or distress she needs a cup of coffee a quad americano and by god was that annoying as that happened like four times in the first like 20 minutes and things simu lee being this sort of villain called Harland. Essentially, it's in a very futuristic world where AI are sort of helping the everyday. There's robots, a guy called Harland, or not a guy, but an AI robot called Harland, basically becomes the first AI terrorist and starts killing people. And basically his big goal is to destroy all of humanity and kind of do a factory reset. Now, to put a pin in that, whilst I do semi-agree with that, that I think that a vast majority, not all, a vast majority of humans as a whole in the real world are a bit of a plague. 
and I don't think we're ever going to get to a stage where the world is going to be better, we are going to cause the planet to get worse and things with climate change and all that nonsense. But So I agree with it slightly, but obviously I wouldn't want it to happen. Atlas is this, you know, super, super smart person that's failed the ranger exam a few times to become a ranger. They're trying to track down Harland, one of the beginning sequences for um, one of Harland's main men called Casca. Now, Abraham Popula, who plays Casca, that's the type of actor that I think that you can have that can still elevate a movie. Now, by all means, some of his lines were fucking dog shit and it was very cringy at times, but he was fine. He was a cool villain. He looked kind of cool. You know, he played the part and he probably didn't cost as much as someone like Mark Strong or Sterling K. Brown, even, you know, remotely close. But he fit the role. He did what he needed to do, despite the, the shitty script. Casca gets caught. You know, Jennifer Lopez's character, Atlas, goes in, interrogates Casca, Casca finds out where Harland is and they go to basically capture Harlan to try save humanity and things but or wouldn't you know that Atlas wants to go on there because she's been hunting Harlan for 20 plus years and you know uh, Harlan killed her mother and things and she needs a coffee and stuff and blah 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 and you know Sterling Brown who's uh, Colonel Elias I think his name was He's like, you know, my team are all ready. We've got these arc Titanfall looking robots. We're ready. We're prepared for anything. Stop getting in my ranger's head. And you know, what What do you know? They should have listened to Atlas because she's smart and things and knows Harland. And what do you know? It was an ambush and like 95% of them all died and things apart from Elias who got captured and things and Jennifer Lopez's character got chucked in one of these Arc Titanfall things and pretty much, you know, somehow she survived without any training at all. Ooh, wow. Blood armor and things. And then, you know, some shit goes on. She doesn't want to basically link with the vehicle where there's some like AI connection neuro link so they can become kind of one quote unquote. Ooh you know fighting AI with AI I'm sure that's going to go well and things and you know she doesn't trust him blah 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 things happen you know he's getting all uppity gets injured a bunch you know basically just runs through the movie with plot armor after plot armor like I get she failed the ranger exam so obviously had some potential training but she made it through this film very very comfortably even despite you know having to have a replacement knee and shit overall like the arc stuff looked cool some of the scenery for the planet that they went to still looked very cool and things you know there was some questionable CGI and special effects there were some questionable you know dialogue and things used overall it's a pretty darn terrible film but the issue I think that a lot of people, not only myself, will have is, is they'll be able to see some potential. They'll be able to see that you could have dropped a few of these actors with some lesser named actors, used that budget a bit better, and you could have had a much better film. You know, you could have maybe made this into a six part series with a lot more reveals, a lot more sort of, a lot more danger and stakes added to it. Uh, at not one point did I think Jennifer Lopez was going to die other than towards the end where I thought she might just sacrifice herself. But you know, that didn't happen anyway. So, you know, she was just fine. She became a ranger at the end and oh, what do you know? It was her fault that Harlan became a villain and things. Oh, I never saw that coming. You know, it feels like, you know, pardon the pun, it feels like the script was written by AI. And for, for Brad Payton, I think I've only seen one other film that he's done. Um, and I think that was, I've seen, well, actually no, I think it's two from having a look. I've seen San Andreas and I've seen Rampage. I have no idea if he's directed or produced these or what his involvement is. San Andreas was a kind of, you know, fine kind of apocalyptic weather end of the world type of movie. Rampage, albeit kind of not amazing, I'd still give it like a six to a seven is it's a relatively okay monster movie, you know, and I don't expect much from a monster movie. I expect a monster movie to maybe get like a seven, if not more, depending on what it is. But with an $100 million budget, you tell me that $100 million was spent on Atlas and I am appalled. Now, you take a 2000 or early 2000 2007 film Transformers for example 147 million dollars or so you know I get that that's still 47 more than the 100 million but like Christ even 47 million more at that point you know you had Megan Fox Shia LaBeouf you had Peter Cullen you had John uh, Turturro you know you had Tyrese Gibson and things you know these were some semi big names even at that time and 
with 47 million more, not only did you manage to make one of the most amazing films ever made, the CGI, the sound, everything was absolutely top notch. And this is from 2007. Bear in mind, this is like nearly 20 years old now. This is the quality that Netflix are pumping out. Honestly, Netflix should be ashamed that this is the quality of film that they're pumping out to their, you know, subscribers and viewers where they're not only increasing the price of the subscription, but this is the, the quality that they expect to put out. Now, I obviously get that, you know, when you have a full-on movie set and things, when I say set, you know, like a proper, proper, like, Hollywood movie, there is different elements compared to something like a Netflix, Amazon Prime original, but you take this kind of concept and script to someone like A24, to a TV series producer, I think you would have had a much better win of a film. You drop some of these actors for some less lesser known ones, or maybe you're able to work out something else with still a big named person, and I think you have the recipe for a actual good film. I think you have the recipe for what could have been a good series with a few different series. Maybe it could have evolved into Titanfall. You know, it could have even been a Titanfall thing. Who knows? But it had a lot of potential and that's what makes it so irritating. But, you know, I apologise for the ranting and things. I think overall it's a bit of a flop of a film. You know, it's a Netflix number one for the wrong reasons and things. Like, I think I've only seen Jennifer Lopez in one film and that might have been Anaconda. And even then, the like, she did nothing that warranted me wanting to watch more of Jennifer Lopez. Um, or no, I think she, I've seen her in the backup plan, and I know she's been in things like Hustlers and The Mother, but, you know, unfortunately she doesn't scream to me as someone that, hey, I need to go watch this film because Jennifer Lopez is in it. But we'll bring that ranting to an end and to a finish here. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Have you seen Atlas? What did you think? Let me know in the comment section below. But above all else, take care. Have a lovely week. Have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye. Hey, thank you for watching the video. Click the button to keep watching or click the other video for more videos and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.